So just a little update on the boat. Um, as you can see, the dive ladder there is uh, is ready to go. Um, Tim had the idea of putting it on the inside because I had it on facing outwards, still sticking up but facing outwards. So it's like if you face it inwards like that, you can actually trans we can transport it like that, and then we'd have to take it off and put it in the van. We can keep it on there. Um, so that's that. So that's brilliant. I am thinking of putting two handles on here, uh, just one here and one here, about this high. Just really, just to sort of hold on to as you're walking up. That way, you can you can step right up and then walk into the boat as opposed to climbing up and clambering over on your knees. So that might be, uh, I might do that today if I've got time, or we might wait to see whether it actually works or not. Uh, so my purpose of this little chat is just to show you what I've done here. So the, um, the light board that goes on the back, uh, which came with the trailer, uh, the, the cable's really long, it was like an extra, well it's this much too long. Um, and every time you undid it, you had to mess around wrapping that round things to just take up the spe to take up the slack. So I've cut it anyway, I trimmed it down and, and put the plug rewired the plug. But I also wanted a way of actually having it tidy along here, which is easily you could easily take off when you're taking the light board off. So I, I, I brought three different sorts of clips and this is the one that I'm trying at the moment. So they're just self adhesive clips and uh, you put the cable through and then you just um, push it up like that and it locks it in. Um, so we're going to try these anyway, see how they last and uh, I'll let you know. There we go, so that's uh, just left with the right amount on the end now. So that can go straight in, so that's nice and tidy. I'm sure it'll be quick to uh, unclip. So the boat's really coming together now, I'm really pleased with it. So we've got the dive ladder there built. Um, I'm talking to uh, Simon at Bill Higher Marine. We're going to um, part exchange this engine for a, a bigger one, a 40 or 50 horsepower two-stroke. And uh, he's going to give me a good, uh, he's giving me a good return, a good part X deal on this engine. Uh, so I'm really grateful for that. So we'll see how that pans out. Uh, the deck's still doing okay. It's a little thin. It's it's, it's all scraped in some places. If you can see any scrapes there, but that's due to when we were carrying this bloody great thing and it was just lying in the bottom of the boat. But now that's never going to happen again, so so that's good. Anchor's up at that end. Got to find some kind of way of. I want to make some kind of bracket for that actually, so it's nice and sort of tidy. Uh, yeah, got. A, if you remember before, I was um, uh, using those winter wheels, those plates and mounting, taking the wheels off and putting it on those plates. But now I don't need to do that anymore because I've got a nice uh, Milanco, um wheel clamp there and also we've got a little one that goes inside the 50mm board coupling. So it's got double security there. It's a lot easier obviously just to uh, undo those and take them off as opposed to messing around trying to jack it up and put the wheel on and all that. I think it's just as safe. And also when we're down there as well, mind you we always keep it chained. That's another thing, that's a good reminder guys, whenever you've, you're towing your trailer and you, uh, you're at a slipway 
and you launch your boat and you go off for the day, always make sure your trailer is secure to your vehicle. So that's, um, I'm sure that's a very popular way of people acquiring trailers. Who's going down to a slipway at mid midday and uh, finding trailers that aren't secure. So uh, it's always good. To, we always chain ours to the actual van, to the tow bar, using that big chain there. And this padlock here. Well, thanks for watching this quick episode of the update of the dive boat and uh, hopefully our next my next video will be me down in Polperro which is hopefully tomorrow